Hello everyone, welcome back to another fake Beyblade Burst unboxing video. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing B121 Hazard Kerbius. So, let's begin. Oh wait, we need to look at the box. As you can see here, in the box, which I am thinking to be as legit, we are supposed to get the 7 disc with the green color and of course Hazard Kerbius and Atomic. So let's see if it actually does have Atomic and the green 7. As you know, with all of these Beyblades, they come with their own launchers. I think you've already seen what they do with my other videos. And it's time to look at Hazard Kerbius. Which I am very disappointed to discover is not atomic. I don't know what this is called. It's the... I don't know what it's called. I don't know. I'll search it later for what it is. I think it's the driver of the first Excalibur. But aside from this, 7 not really being colored as green as I expected. It's kind of a pale line-ish thing. They didn't go all out with the paint, so I mean the backside is good enough. It's painted green. I think that's already a good thing that they even bothered to paint this green. What the? This is weird. The 7, one 7 is facing the correct direction while the other 7 is not. That's a malfunction in the manufacturer's, uh, yeah, manufacturer's molds. And we have Hazard Kerbius. If you don't know, its ability is, where is it? I can't find it. It's here. It's able to, the... I don't know, chains? Should I should I call it chains? They get pushed in with a spring yeah, so they can absorb more attack power because, you know, it's de defensive. But as I look at it, it's not really moving. Oh wait, it's a moving a little. Is it a problem with the mold again? It's, it's moving a little bit, but maybe I think it's the mold's problem. I think it's too tight or it just doesn't fit because it's it's really stuck in there. Look, it moves. Focus camera. Moves. I don't know if the camera can notice it. Oh, there it is. It moves. It moves. I'm guessing it's another thing with the fake Beyblades manufacturer is not properly measuring their parts when they make it because it's extremely tight and it's having a hard time to move. There's a spring. I can see a spring. I mean, not something like a spring, but there's something in there that's letting it retract and push back the, the chains I'm calling them because it has chains here. So yeah, I guess it's the only problem here is this. Um, I don't know what the name is, but it's supposed to come with Atomic. And the chain's not really moving. It's really tight in there. I mean, I could open it up and scrape some of the plastic off. That's, that should work, and it'll make this move more easily. Yeah. Let me put this together now. Oh, I, I know it's a defense attack, but god dang. I mean, it's stronger than most, but it's really weak. It's moving away because it doesn't have its atomic driver. It has this weird driver that I don't know about. So, yeah, I should put on the stickers now. yellow well that's already a bad sign and we're back um, stickers were ultra weak they could 
they were tearing I mean most of them were trying to tear but I managed to salvage what I could and it looks great and it, it when you first look at it, it was kind of bland but now it's a little more blinged up like I said if you've watched the previous videos you already know that I really hate the yellow stickers because they easily break and in this one I actually put a, the stickers for atomic on atomic not this one so we're gonna test this with this this one first then gonna use this one so yeah this is hazard curbius you can see the teeth pretty weak this is metal this is metal yeah we have seven close it a little close up yep this is the wrong baby the uh, wrong driver for this play blade and this is the actual driver for this baby blade, which is atomic little thing here it's supposed to spin Let's measure their weight. Let's put Hazard Kirby Ace first. Fake one. It's not the real ones. Fake one. And it's 17.8. How about 7? The fake 7. 23.8. Let's put the wrong combo driver here. 5.7. And let's look at actual, which is atomic. And it is 6 grams. Yeah. This is a little heavier than this. And putting them all together is 47.6. Let's put it like this. See? Yep, it's still 47.6. Yeah. I guess the only thing now is to test battle it. Ciao. I was hoping to use Excalibur against Kerbius, but I remembered that it's still broken. Let me just zoom in here. You see that crack here? It's still there. I'm still trying to fix and do what I can to not have it break, but I'm still afraid to use this because I know it's just, it's just gonna fly off. So what I'm gonna do is just use it once, try to burst Kerbius, and see what's gonna happen I just tried to test launch it and uh, it's still cracking so you know what I'm not gonna use it on Kerbius it's still cracking I just test launched it and started to break JK I'm still gonna do it anyway Kerbius eh. boom damn it stuck let's see oh that's a big hit oh Yeah. Did it suffer any major damage? Not suffering any major damage. I'm just gonna use it again. Let's, let's see if it's gonna break or not. You know, I'm just gonna buy a new one. Probably try to prepare it so it won't break next time. And let's use, let's let's just see round two. Is it gonna break or is it not gonna break? Scabber not really doing much. Oh, something just broke. I don't know what just broke. Something flew off. I don't know what flew off. A piece of Kerbius flew off. Of course, of course. You know, I, I, was, I was expecting this to actually protect the actual thing, but no. I guess impact, shock, um, physics stuff happened and it still managed to break it. Damn! Found the thing. I'm gonna see if I can fix this. 
God dang it. Everything is just breaking. I'm I'm regretting buying the these SB ones. Here I thought the SB ones were actually gonna be really good. They're not good. They're bad. They're pretty bad. They're horrible. It's even cracked over here. Look. There's a tiny crack there. I do not know if you can see it, but there is a tiny there it is. I'll see if uh Maybe good old super glue can fix them. You, you never know. Good old trusty super glue can fix them up. Oh god, it's sliding all over the place. I guess this is. This test will be postponed, or either this will be the last. This will be part of it. Saying that it's broken and it's you shouldn't buy it and stuff. Fake Beyblades, everyone. I implore you to not buy them. Just buy the original ones from Takaratomi because they are the actual manufacturers and they don't use horrible, cheap material to make their fake Beyblades because they're not fake. They're actually made with decent stuff. The reason why they're expensive is because they are made of decent stuff that won't break. Don't buy the cheap ones. This is why. Oh, it just fell off. Awesome. I'm so disappointed right now. I never even got to use Excalibur. I mean, um, um, Achilles. This is Excalibur. I expected this to break. Not this. Damn it. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Beyblades. I'm going to see if I can fix this before I done, I'm done editing to see if I act can actually make a decent battle between between Excalibur and Achilles. I really didn't expect Garbius to broke. See you next time, people. Hi, I'm back. It took a long time, but I eventually managed to quote-unquote fix Hazard Curbius. As you can see, it's a little thinner than before. It's because I scraped off some of the plastic. Along with the plastic, I also scraped off some of the metal in it. Look, you can see that it's been scratched. And you can also see the horrible glue um, repair I did. Uh, apparently, it didn't really want to stick together because you know it's metal when I use super glue, but it eventually did. I used a combination of a wood glue and something that also holds on to plastic, and it held on well. The iron isn't really fitted for use it for using that type of glue but it did held up well and I can battle it without any problems yeah you can see the some of the change I chains I grinded it off just so it, it had space to move around when I grinded off some of the plastic as well I also lost a red piece of the sticker Along with that, this is okay, and with Buster Excalibur, it was a horrible, horrible job. I uh, made a lot of holes. I tried a lot of things, but it didn't work out, and I just ultimately did the same thing with this, and I used a combination of plastic and wood glue, and it eventually kind of fixed. It's eventually kind of, it's, uh, oh, it's horrible. I can't do it. You can still see the crack. It still moves around. It's just... It doesn't... It won't fly off as much as it anymore because it's got this metal thing. Yeah, that's the only update I have on these things. They're all still broken. Just... They're usable. So yeah, I guess let's battle them. Starting with Hazard Kerbius. And... Oh. Yeah, I'm quite proud of this. It's not breaking off. Yeah. Oh, Excalibur bursted. That's two points to Kerbius. When his absolute defense. Oh, massive hits from Excalibur. And, oh. Kerbius won. I guess I should use Achilles. 3, 2, 1. He's on normal mode. Achilles is on normal mode. Let's see if anything will break. Nothing breaking so far. Achilles 
attacking Kerbius with massive hits. And it comes down to Achilles one. Kerbius didn't really suffer that much damage. Good. Nothing is flying around. One click from Achilles. Let's do defense mode. Both of them, both of them in the middle. Oh, ooh. They're not really doing anything. Achilles is just circling around. Oh, that was a massive hit. Achilles losing as much stamina compared to Kerbius. And, oh, it, it's still Achilles' win. One click. Let's go attack mode on Achilles. Ooh. Uh, I guess that was a knockout finish from Kirby's. Yeah. Next, Kirby's first. Achilles on his attack mode. Oh, oh, massive hits. Achilles circling around. Oh, knockout finish. Well, that certainly does it for Kirby's. It was a real doozy trying to fix this one. A lot of problems and a lot of issues. I still managed to let it retain its springiness on its change. Still able to use its gimmick. That's a plus for me. Yeah. Unless you're prepared to fix these things, don't buy the fake Beyblades because they suck. Especially this one. It's, it's a total nightmare. You don't, you, just buy the original ones. Takaratomi is much, much better. So like, comment, and subscribe. Buy these at your own accord. If you don't want to deal with lead poisoning, then just buy the, the original from Takaratomi. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.